In this video, I continue my work on Python code, which is going to create a movie database uh, and store this in the JSON file. So far, I have two functions. The first one here at the top creates a user input, calls another function here, providing the parameters, and the, that other function is creating a dictionary and the code is appending the dictionary, which is movie information, into a list called movies up here. However, so far, I can only enter one movie and the program stops. So now I want to do a modification to the code so that a user can enter multiple movies and the software, the program should ask the user if he wants to continue or she wants to continue or not. If not, then the program terminates. How to do that? Well, the best way to do it, so this is where my function is called here, line 43, and this is where it displays the, this is where it displays, so pretty much all those steps are done in here, 43 line, calls the function, creates the dictionary, appends it to a list and displays information, which is the lines 46 through 48. I need to make sure that the user can enter more than one movie. So let's go ahead and do it this way. The best way to do it is just a continuous loop until the user wants to break it. While true statement colon is going to be an endless or infinite loop. Inside the body of the loop, all I want to do is create a movie, which I already accomplished via create movie information function. Indentation in indicates that the, the while loop is going to create that movie for me. But then once it's created and appended to a movie list, it should ask, do you want to continue or do you want me to stop? How do I do that? So once the movie is created, append it to the list, the question should go something like this. So let's collect user answer and say, would you like to add another movie? And we can say, oh, maybe let's make it shorter. Add another movie and we can have here yes or no if that is the question if that is a question now we need to react to the question somehow now since it is an infinite loop if i say yes it should go ahead and go back to create movie create it add it to the list and collect another question maybe just to separate that i'm going to add here a new line character, extra new line character. Um, so if the answer is other than Y letter, other than yes, it should continue. We should jump back. So obviously we have, we need to use now if statement, if answer is other than or not equal to yes. Remember input takes strings as as the data and the signs to answer a variable so if that variable answer is other than yes provided by the user now if statement ends with colon and needs indentation as well as the body of this if statement if that is the case th then break the the loop now i want to this to be and then I display information. So there's actually in the code two things we're doing. We open an infinite loop. And if that loop opens as infinite, it would never end. So we would create a movie forever. But we, after creating the movie, we collect the user answer using input function. If that answer is other than yes, we break the loop and we go to the next line, which is for movie in movies display now what you've added to the movie list. I can actually make that a function as well if I want to. Now let's actually make it a function. So I'm going to copy that. 
line 43 through 48. So line 43, 43 through 48. And I'm going to delete this from here. And I'm going to paste it at the very top, maybe here. I'm going to separate maybe all functions with two, for clarity, two enters, two new lines characters. Okay, that's fine. And now let's make it a function. I am going to call this function define um, add movie. And it doesn't take any parameter. It's just going to be called because that function is create is calling this function inside the loop, which is the create movie information, which in turn this calls here another function providing the parameters collected from the user and appends that to the list. Let's see if that's going to work. Obviously, we need to finish our definition of the function with a colon and we need to indent for characters everything that is underneath. So let me do visual insert and four characters for all the lines. And now we need to call this function, otherwise it would never be run add movie. So at the very bottom, let's save it. At the very bottom, I am going to say now the first line of the code is going to be add movie. And then I'm going to display what is going to be stored in the movie list. Let's run it. Save and run Python 3 and my uh, movie collection. Okay, provide a title. Let's go ahead, get ahead and do this again. A Alien movie, the very director. The director is uh, Ridley Scott. So it's asking me for input, collect collecting information from the user. And the year is 1979. And parent rating was R. Length, I don't know, 157, I think. 157 hours. And genre was horror and sci fi. So once I hit enter, this movie information is going to be as a dictionary added to the list. But then the code should ask me a question Would you like to enter another movie? Okay, let's see if that happens. There you go. So that infinite loop is going uh, for yes, it should allow me to add another movie. Let's do that. Provide the following information. So that's the question about another movie, another dictionary. Let's go ahead and do that. And um, what I'm going to say is, I don't know, uh, the Terminator movie director is James Cameron, classic year 1984 parent rating R length I don't know 147 hours and genre it's going to be action sci fi let's just say I want to add those, only those two movies and stop so if the next question goes add another movie yes or no I'm going to say no and the program should stop enter would you like to add another movie? No. And it displays information about the movie. So we have a Terminator and we have a... I need to do a space here because I've got my alien, but there's no space here. There's another one by one. So it's just adding space, maybe print statement later here. Maybe once we display that, we add an empty print statement and it should work. But the main goal of, of today's um, uh, uh, function uh, did work. And in the next function, I'm going to try to save that information into a file so it's not lost because at this point it was only in, in the RAM memory and every time I run the code, I need to add those movies one more time.